Join our hosts as they check out the Creval 33 CSF, a center console offshore fishing platform with innovative amenities that will please the entire family. The Creval 33 CSF has an overall length of 33 feet 2 inches, a beam of 10 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 900. Designed for blue water adventures with the family, she has a draft of 22 inches, a dead rise of 20 degrees, a weight of 8,000 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 300 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Guys, we're on a really cool boat today. This is the Creval 33 CSF, and it's kind of a departure for Creval. Now, these guys have done a great job really getting a handle on the bay boat hybrid market. And this is their first real foray into a purely blue water boat with a lot of bells and whistles. George, bells and whistles, you said it. There's so much going on here. I can't wait to get into this boat and just dig around and find out what all these cubbies are and the coolers and where they have everything placed. This boat looks like it's got it all. Yeah, very well made, Lori, but let me tell you something. This is Creval's first entry into the blue water market. They brought a 33. I see so much stuff that came from outside eyes and new eyes into this type of boat. I cannot wait to spend some time on it. Creval took all the desirable traits of their 24 to 26 foot models and expanded not only the usable deck footprint to accommodate a larger group on board, they also expanded the offshore possibilities and range into the distant blue water arena. The solid feeling ride offered by the 33 CSF in the big water is due in part to Creval's resin infusion manufacturing process. This crimp process assures consistent material to resin proportion throughout the entire structure. The Creval 33 posted some pretty impressive performance numbers rigged with a pair of 400 horse Verados. From a standing start, she'll reach 30 miles an hour in just over seven seconds with a top speed of 60 miles an hour at 6,700 RPM. From both the range and economy standpoint, she also put up good scores, including 475 miles of range at cruise, while offering better than one mile per gallon all the way up to 50 miles an hour, with the best cruising economy coming in at 1.6 miles per gallon at 34 miles an hour. I tend to look at all boats from a fisherman's point of view, and right away noticing that she had three live wells was super to me because one of them was in front of the console. That is so nice when you see a fish and you want to cast at him from the bow. Chad Jaros from Caval hooked a beautiful cobia, which immediately attracted the attention of a big bull shark. Speed was of the essence, let me tell you, and Chad made three 360 degree laps around that boat, keeping the cobia away from the bull shark. We finally gaffed him, got him in the boat, and let me tell you something, it was important that we had the room to maneuver. Now. Having the two 70-inch fish boxes in the deck meant we couldn't have taken a whole lot more, but we were more than thankful to have the one we got. Listen up, it's even got a slide-out mezzanine seating in the pit, fantastic helm station tackle storage, and even enough rod racks to start your own tackle shop on the rocket launcher. All this adds up to the Creval 33 Sport Fish giving no quarter as a serious tournament fisherman. We had port and starboard bow seating with open storage. Behind the bow seating backrest is a table with built-in cup holders and more storage. Another great feature for comfort is the lounge seat in front of the console had to have been one of the most comfortable lounge chairs I have ever sat on. Curvel provides custom upholstery with contoured seating and cushions with multi-density foam that provides maximum endurance and comfort. Inside the console today, you had a head, sink, and rod storage. But the best part is the standing room. I actually went in there and put my arms all the way up and still could not touch the ceiling. That shows you how much room you actually have in there. Guys, today was amazing. Not only did we have the Cravel family on the boat today, we were able to see exactly what this boat was built for. Well, I think you're right, and I was constantly surprised what a new set of eyes. I saw more things today that I never knew I needed, and now I feel like I can't live without. All this kind of stuff can you add to your boat. And I got worried about the boat being too busy. Then we've got a bull shark chasing a cobia around the boat seamlessly. Work like a champ. Yeah, you know what? I mean, I never expect anything less than excellence when I jump on a Corral boat here. 
and it sounds like a lot to say. I mean, it is too, but something that really jumps out at me about these boats, and this was no exception, is there's quality in the build all over it. There's a lot of creature comfort, but the boat's still fishable. And for the guy that wants to use a boat just for offshore fishing and have all that comfort, this boat right here is a serious boat to have a look at.